Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. In the description of yesterday's video, I talked about how you pretty much have to cut the heart and soul out of a video in order to make it short enough to attract people to watch it. And even then, I can only get a video, an instructive type video, down to about three to five minutes. So today I want to do a video like I would like to be uploading. It will have edits in it. I'll be editing the speed when I misspeak and make a slight mistake, some kind of little bobble with what I'm trying to get across. I'll edit that out uh, and have a do-over. And if it's still too long for you, you have the fast forward button. Hit the fast forward button and move on to the next scenes. This is a Pepsi can with a dull bottom. I want to show you how to take this Blue Magic metal polish cream that you can buy from any auto parts store for $10 and buff this out basically in real time and then we'll step 10 feet over here and get in the sun and I'll show you how to ignite some punk wood. Punk wood is not going to react to such a tiny, tiny little focal point. So we'll take some of this char off my table. I've already made some char on the top of this new tabletop and we'll darken that punk wood and then it should ignite very easily. Just going to use a paper towel. You don't need any fancy chamois or anything like that. And I'm going to buff out the bottom of that can twice. Oh, let me talk to you about the, the durability of this stuff. I've had this for like two or three years and it has been through winters where it's frozen up as much as it can freeze because it's oil based. It's been through summers. I've accidentally had it tipped over on its side and a lot of the oil has leaked out of it and still this stuff works great to polish stainless steel tablespoons and the aluminum bottoms on these cans. About the size of a dime and start working it and it's going to start turning black but uh, I'm just making sure that I'm rubbing the center the outer edges thoroughly buffing it out polishing it Always give it two good polishings, sometimes three. So this is the fourth polishing. Sometimes I wonder if there's a difference in the aluminum, if there's a difference in the coating or the oxidation that's on the aluminum, because sometimes you just need two polishings and it makes it nice and glassy. This one's really shiny, but it's not, it's not mirror-like yet. I just tried it out in the sun. That is plenty shiny enough. You should be able to see me upside down in that reflection. And I have my shades on. You always want to wear shades when doing solar experiments. I couldn't find any light colored punk wood. Just this darker stuff. Let me take my shades off, hold on. Good punk wood is lightweight, spongy. You squeeze in on it and it springs right back out. There's that spot of char. Find it on your finger first. You want to point the can directly at the sun. The sun's not down there on the horizon. It's more than of an angle right there. I'm gonna have to adjust you up because I'm gonna have to get up under it to see it. That is plenty hot enough to ignite it. It 
It's ignited, but I'm gonna let it burn in there real well. Now punk wood that's super dry, you just barely ignite it and it'll spread. I'm not sure about this, so I want to get it good and hot. Those clouds are in and out from in front of the sun. So I'm glad it gave me a few seconds to try this. I'm ready to go back in the shade. There's no reason for to finish this out in the sun like this. I just want to give you, a, I just want you to be sure that it's ignited and it's going to stay ignited and just keep spreading. It makes fire making so much easier. When you have an ember you know is not going to go out on you. I was at the bottom of the bucket on these pine needles, so there's a lot of dust and fine powder and stuff. You'll probably see it fall out of there. I'm gonna break it up when I put it in there. Ooh, come back here. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.